Hello and welcome to a very special video of my BMW 8 Series. So it's pretty early here in the south of London and I'm going to be driving this car all the way to the Alps. And when I get to the Alps, I'm going to swap it for another car and that car will then become my long-term daily driver. So I'm going to talk you around what I'm going to be doing with this car though. We go to the Geneva Motor Show and a few days before we're actually going to go skiing. So here we have my snowboard and I've also got someone with me in the car. It is, well you might recognise him. Hello, it, <laughs> why are you locking me in the car? I don't know, I wasn't doing it, the car was just doing it itself. I thought you were playing silly buggers <laughs> and locking me out. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the diesel, I want to see what miles per gallon it can do on the way down to the Alps. So in the time that I've had the car, it's been averaging 35 miles per gallon, which is pretty impressive. But now I'm going to zero the trip and I'm going to compare it to the car I'm going to be swapping it for. So we've arrived at the Channel Tunnel. Don't want to get too close to the curb. Can I reach? Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Hello. It's only speaking. How may I help? Hello. Um, it's coming up as my departure time at uh, 10.20. Can I have an earlier one, please? You can by all means try and drive around one train before, sir, but it is very busy this morning, so if it hasn't offered you anything, then there probably isn't any space. Oh, arse. Oh. All right, then. Thank you. Yes, sir, thank you. Bye-bye. Now we need to go around, don't we? Because we're Plus. We're not? No. What? Because otherwise it would be Flexi Plus hanger. I don't understand, why aren't we Flexi Plus? Flexi Plus, we just go straight on, so we need to go around. They haven't booked us Flexi Plus. Do you know what? That's wrong. Well, I'm not good enough. <laughs> Getting a big diva strop on about not being Flexi Plus. I was so aghast at not being priority that I text the person who organised our ticket. And they thought we had actually been booked Flexi Plus after all. So, things were looking up. All I had to do was make it through customs. What's the odds we get stopped? I always get stopped. They sometimes stop you just to look at your car. I've had that before. And this car gets a lot of attention. Hello. How are you? Good, there you go. Thank you. Cheers. I like your car, by the way. Do you? It's very nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I never tell them that it's not actually my car. <laughs> I just <laughs> reap the glory. Oh, yes, I'm incredibly well off. I can afford a nice BMW 8 Series. Yay! We're not going to get searched. Flexi Plus only, let's try it. I'll just cut this guy up. Whoops. We better bloody be Flexi Plus now. The guys are going to look like a right <laughs> Now it should read our number plate, we should be Flexi Plus. Are we, 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 what, what? No, we're not. I'm going to try it. Shout it to me. Eight, four, three, six, nine, three. It says it's refused. We're not Flexi Plus. <laughs> I was in denial about it the whole time, but it is there, plain as day. Can I? Oh, I'm all of a panic now. Look, that's where we should be over there. It looks amazing. <laughs> Finally then, we're going to be boarding the car train to France. This is odd. Normally you get on at the back of the train, but they're sending us through a different way. You'll find out when you actually go inside the train, it's really quite narrow and it's got like metal curbs and it's so easy to curb a wheel. And this is a wide car. You know the, the, the trick to this, you go to the high side of vehicles. So despite the fact you can be in something really low, like a Lamborghini, uh -huh. you go in the high side of vehicles lane. And then this is it, you're right, Henry. Yes, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, thank you have God. Been saved. <laughs> I'm so pleased oh, about that. All your prayers have been answered. So here we go, we're going in the, the lorry section. Such a piece of luck. No, I better not curb it. It'd be quite hard to. <laughs> you are building yourself up. No, come on, I'm not going to cock this up. This is a blessing. There we go, all done safe and sound. So we're finally on the train and we're moving, heading off to France right now. I'll give you a quick look round the carriage we're in. As you can see, it's really high, so it's suitable for lorries and it's nice and wide, so I haven't worried about curbing those wheels. Now I'm gonna tell you something a little bit interesting about the tires. So I've had them swapped over to winter tires, because obviously we're going up into the Alps 
and it's going to be snowing. They're a slightly smaller wheel and these are run flats. On the car before, I didn't have run flats and even though it had a bigger wheel, it rode over bumps better than these slightly smaller wheels on run flats. I really do not like run flat tyres. Well, here we are arriving in France. So now we've got about six hours of really boring auto route driving. So there's not really going to be much to say unless we have a massive crash. Fortunately, we didn't crash, though the French countryside was so dull to make us want to. The only real event was finally having to stop for fuel, as there was only 49 miles left in the tank and 151 miles to my destination. So I filled up with diesel, which seemed to take ages and cost quite a lot too. Well, there you go, I filled it up. 61 litres for a full tank, which comes to 101 euros. <laughs> I hate filling it with diesel. It always stinks on your hands. The remaining journey up the mountains was uneventful, and we finally arrived at our destination, the rather lovely M Hotel in Megève, the kind of place where someone who can afford an 8 Series would probably stay. But more importantly, what economy did the 840D manage over the 650 mile trip? And this car has averaged 43.9 miles per gallon. So I know a lot of you guys were like moaning that I've got an 840D, should have had the 850i this is what this car is good for long distances i mean that economy is incredible also in driving it in town it's just relaxing and you've got instant torque been impressed with it but it's the end of the relationship this car leaves me today tomorrow i will have a different car well it's a new day and i have a new car here it is finally the m850i and i'm super excited about it i'm also super excited that i'm not having to film the car myself as look at this look i now have a cameraman yeah so i've been to the geneva motor show for the past few days and he flew out so now i can use him on the way back and i'm going to talk you around the car and talk about some of the specs um, but first i'm going to do the most important thing with this now it's not launch it i'm going to fill it with all my kit. Finally then, I'm sat inside the V8 version of the 8 Series and I'm gonna keep this car for four months. So that's good. What do you think about the interior? It's definitely a little bit more interesting. Although I do sort of feel like I'm sat in a lady garden. Anyway, let's start this thing up because it's all about the engine. Got a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 with 580 horsepower and it sounds Yeah, that sounds better than the diesel. Anyway, let's drive it. Now, one of the things I'm keen to see when comparing this to the diesel is just what kind of economy I can get out of it. So. I've zeroed the trip on this one. I've got three quarters of a tank. We'll see how many times I have to fill up and what my average MPG is over the course of the journey. So then what's my first driving impressions? Well, at the moment I'm just driving through town and it doesn't really feel that much different to the diesel. Yeah, it costs around 30 grand more than the 840D. However, I'm coming to an open stretch of road. I'm gonna put the car into sports mode, gearbox into manual. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and there's the difference. It feels noticeably quicker. It pulls about the same kind of low to middle parts of the rev range, but then keeps on going up to 6,000 RPM. <laughs> I like it. That's some insightful journalism, isn't it? But then here's the reality. Look, I'm now stuck behind a chain of cars and I can't do anything about it. So yeah, that bit of fun was short lived to say the least. I mean, what is this? We're doing 16 miles an hour. I could roll down here faster on a skateboard. Oh, just realise why. <laughs> this road works. Je suis les roast beefs. Sadly, the fun roads were over and it was back on the boring auto route. But that didn't mean I couldn't have some fun. So here we are at the toll booth. I'm just gonna launch it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, is that the police? Hi. Didn't even bat an eyelid. 
<laughs> good old French gendarmes. <laughs> well, that's quick. It's definitely quick. But while my antics might not have attracted the attention of the French law, they were spotted by a fellow BMW driver. And all he wanted was for me to do one thing. Obviously, I obliged. So I've been driving now for about 280 miles and the fuel warning has come on. So I've got 45 miles left in the tank and I've still got 133 miles left to my stopover point. I've been cruising along at 80 miles an hour at the speed limit using the cruise control system. So I haven't been driving particularly fast apart from that launch earlier. Hmm. The range is definitely going down faster than the miles on the sat nav. Thing is in France though, I'm not entirely sure where the fuel stations are because they don't tell you that often and they can be quite far apart, so I know. Hey BMW. Hello, what can I help you with? Take me to a petrol station. Which one of the destinations shall I select? Ah, look, it's got one on route. I'll take that. Okay, get started. Ha, <laughs> that was easy. There's one just like four miles away. Whew. This was my first fuel stop in the V8. So, how thirsty was it? Well, that was 63 litres and it's coming at just a few centimes under 100 euros. It's really boring just kind of travelling along on the French auto route. So I've been messing with the car's media settings and I found that it's got a hard drive with some music downloaded onto it which has obviously been done by BMW Press Office. And they've got quite a few songs by ACDC. And I didn't know just how rude the songs were. So we've got Let Me Put My Love Into You, What Do You Do For Money Honey, Shoot To Thrill, You Shook Me All Night Long, and Giving The Dog A Bone. <laughs> it's just so rude. But it wasn't quite as rude as the rude awakening that was my next stopover somewhere in the west of Paris. Well, I finally arrived at my destination, and the bad news is that, yeah, the hotel I'm staying in tonight is nowhere near as nice as the hotel I was staying in in Megève. In fact, I think the value of this car is worth more than all the cars added together in this car park. Well, it's another day, and it's another video. You see, today I've been filming this car here. Look, a Tesla Model 3. Yes, I'm at Tesla's store in Paris. That's what I've been doing all day. Now, if you want to see my full in-depth video review of the new Tesla Model 3, then just click up there in the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen or follow the link below the video. Now, though, I've finished filming, so I'm going to jump back in this good old-fashioned V8, and I've got about 200 miles to the Channel Crossing, and then probably about another two hours drive on the other side. So it's going to be a long old day. Actually, there wasn't much of the day left, which meant it was going to be a long old night. Thankfully, the 8 Series was fitted with the excellent optional laser lights, which helped illuminate the pitch black auto route. Finally, I've arrived at Calais and the tunnel. I am very tired. Now we're heading into Flexi Plus. I hope this car has Flexi Plus this time. This one must have it, please. I don't understand why aren't we Flexi Plus. I'm not, not good enough. <laughs> What's your name, please? Matthew Watson. Have we got Flexi Plus? You have a Flexi Plus ticket? Result and Flexi Plus. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Have a nice Christmas. Au revoir. Bye -bye. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Oh, hee -haw. Not f There we go. <laughs> Couldn't ruin that at the end. <laughs> and that wasn't the only thing that was ruined at the end. It looked like the car's alloy wheels might be too. Oh no, look, I'm going in the normal one, the double decker where it's narrower. Oh, hopefully I'm not gonna bash these wheels. Will it even fit through this gap? It's not looking likely. Oh, the car is freaking out. Ah. Uh, Ooh, it's close. Oh, this is not what I need at this time of the night. Looks like I made it unscathed. Uh, was there any reason taking I, so long coming down or something? 
It was because it's very wide car and it's narrow. I didn't want to scrape oh, the okay, wheels. No, no problem. Just double checking. Just didn't know if you had like a flat tire. Or no, no, no. Just, just make it shot. Well. It's very cautious. And rightly so, as my right side wheels were almost touching the metal curb. However, I only had the 20 minute crossing to relax. Right, now I've got to drive the length of half the train again. I've got an idea. I mean, if I just do this, that's easier. <laughs> just mount the curb. Thank God that trial's over. Well, hello again, England. Now, look. The M20 is shut. Brilliant. Looks like I'll be taking the long way home then. But still, V8. Well, I finally arrived home in London and I've just made it without having to fill up again. I've got 14 miles left in the tank and I've averaged 27 miles per gallon over the journey. Not terrible, but not as good as the diesel. Still, V8. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. And if you click on the deals box to the right, you can see how much you can save on a new car at CarWow. Or click on the video windows below to watch another of my videos.